and some chocolate cereal. Oh, Can we press it? What do you guys think? Yep, there you go. So, good morning, guys. Welcome to today's vlog. What's up? Um, as you can probably tell with my voice. Hello, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Lost my voice first, and then <clears throat> and then it was just like a bit of a cough, and it was just like my voice just wasn't getting better. It was like a full week with no voice, and I was just so over it. So today it seems like maybe I'll be lucky and have it back fully. Um, it seems to get worse throughout the day. By the end of the day, it's like really hurting, but anyway. Miss Alaska, so uh, <laughs> today we are spending the day together because Miss Alaska has a hearing test. Hey, yeah, so she's getting her hearing tested. Uh, she's got like significant hearing loss. She's had two burst eardrums, so we're just kind of doing the hearing test, see what comes of it. Hi, puppy. No, not the dentist. You're getting a hearing test for your ears. Mm -hmm, cheeky. <laughs> She's having some special breakfast. Hey, she wanted, she didn't want any of the stuff we had and Junie's not here. Junie had a sleepover last night to make today a bit easier. And I said, do you want some cocoa pops that I had hidden in the cupboard? And she said, yes, please. So, special breakfast. Special little mummy daughter day, even though I'm not 100%. And we've just got a few things to do this morning. Hey, we got to go swimming first. Alaska's got a swimming lesson. And then we drive out to get a hearing test. And then I said, we'll get some lunch together. So we've got a nice little mummy daughter day planned. And I just thought I'd take you guys along. I don't know if I will get the results of the hearing test, like, on the spot. Or if I'll have to book in to see the doctor i've not i really don't know how it works at all so i guess we'll see but i got my coffee Alaska's having some breakfast mm. and we'll get ready to go swimming got some errands to do should be a good day should we go pick what you're gonna wear come on i have been here for a while but you might see that i've turned the rooms around so was it I put the queen bed in here because Junie still does not sleep well through the night and I found myself sleeping in her cot, which seems to defy the laws of physics um, or on the floor. So we finally put the spare mattress in here. Wow, Baba. So we can at least have somewhere comfortable to sleep if we end up in here. And then I'll just show Alaska's room real quick. I did move this around too because... Yes, I moved her room around because we needed the chair to go somewhere. And it doesn't really fit anywhere else in the house. So I figured in here we can still read books to the girls together. Just makes the room look a bit nicer, actually. All right, come tell me what you want to wear, bub. You've got swimming today, bubba. So are you going to wear these? No. These ones? No. These ones? No. Well, that's your only option. We've only got three. Swimming. Are you ready to go swimming, Baba? Yeah. Are you tired? Yeah. Oh no. Maybe you can have a sleep on the way to your hearing test, hey? Yeah. yeah. Are you going to swim with Mummy? Yeah. Okay. So I do not usually get in the pool. Um, luckily, Alaska goes in by herself. But. Can you go in the pool with me? Yeah, I will, Bob. I will today. So today's a little bit, um, the schedule is just a little bit messed up because I've been Mommy trying to... Mommy lost her voice. I did lose my voice, yes. Um, I've been trying to get her and hearing tested for cold. two months now. Bobby. Yeah. My food is cold. Are they, Bobby? They'll be warm in the pool. 
Um, and the wait lists are ridiculous, like through the public system, months on end. Privately, it was a six and a half week wait for an appointment. So just back in July that I booked this appointment. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, in a minute, I'm just, just let me talk for a sec. So, um, the only appointment they had for today was at 10 a.m. And then it was another two weeks. So I took it, but her swimming is from nine to nine thirty, and the appointment is half an hour away. So the scheduling is like very tight. So what I decided to do is usually I'll have Junie and we sit and watch her swim. Since I don't have Junie today, I decided that I'll get in early and swim with her for a little bit. She'll do 15 minutes of her lesson and then I'll have to pull her out and we'll have to get dressed and go in the car and head out to the appointment. So she will miss half of her lesson, but I figure she won't really mind because she will have already swum with me for a little while. Um, and then, you know, it's not a big deal. It's only 15 My minutes. So. Oh, you're taking your baby's clothes off? Yeah, I put the, she's having a portrait. Oh, oh, great. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go and have a bit of a swim no, together. I'll get out, get dressed while she does half of her lesson, then I'll pull her out. Okay, okay, I'll, yes, I will help. All right, let's go. Bubby, eat the top first. <laughs> so as you can see we are back home I've, I've got Miss Cranky Pants oh. You want Coco Melon? Okay. Just a minute Okay, I just set the kids up with some cocoa melon. You can probably hear it in the background, actually, but um, I just wanted to, to come and chat for a minute, and Junie did not want me to chat, so I know the lighting is not the best in here, but you know, kind of got to do what we're going to do. So, 
you would have seen this morning I took Alaska swimming and my hair is I mean I washed it last night which was a huge mistake I did have the idea to not get my hair wet when we swam but that went down the drain immediately so my hair is a mess we finished up at swimming drove directly to the hearing appointment and honestly it wasn't the best um I, I don't know like first of all Alaska had sore eyes from swimming and that has never happened before she's never complained about it before it just happened to be today the chlorine that seemed to affect her so that was frustrating because she was distracted by her sore eyes um and then the hearing test the the lady said it's quite hard for under four years old because from four years onwards they get headphones and it's obviously sounds on each ear and they monitor when they react to sounds or not so she's too young for that so the way they did it for her is they had like her sit on my lap and they had puppets come right and they had to look at the puppet when they heard the noise the issue was is that after a, a few times she knew that a puppet was going to pop up and she would anticipate it and look before the noise had kind of played so it was kind of like a mixed result for me the lady seemed to think she did well and like you know she's a professional so hopefully it was all good but to me the test would make more sense if there was something on either side and they didn't know which side the sound was going to happen on so they literally had to listen to look instead of you know the puppet popped up and they just had to turn their head when the sound happened so that's how the test went there was also another like there was more to it she looked in her ears she had to wear like little bud things at one point and then one at a time and then a pressure test as well so um pretty much the results so far and we haven't seen the doctor for the actual follow-up this is just what the like technician told me at the hearing um test clinic but they said there's definitely a fluid backup in both ears uh, she said her ears don't have the best design to drain if that makes sense so her ears the structure of her ears makes it very hard for any kind of fluid to drain out so water from the bath water from swimming earwax like it's she said it's going to be very easy for her ears to clog and it probably always feels to her like the feeling you get when you get out of the pool and your ear has water in it like that really like underwater annoying sound so She's probably dealing with that all the time. She said, um, she also said she definitely needs grommets. So we will be pursuing grommets through the doctor. And then also she said she definitely has hearing loss in both ears. So I just thought it was in one ear. She's got hearing loss in both ears, more significant in one than the other. I'm just telling them about your hearing test, Bobby. How did your hearing test go? What did I see in staring at? What did you see? Where? Was it puppets? Is it lots of animals? Can you see what I see? Yeah. Did you have to listen to the noises? Yeah. Yeah? And which is your good ear? This. That's your good ear? And which one can't you hear very well out of? This Yeah. So yeah, she, like I assumed this ear was the one that she had hearing loss in, but apparently according to the lady, she actually wasn't responding well for either ear and this one is her good ear but there was still hearing loss in both ears which is really sad to hear so you know um it's what it is there's not really much you can do about it she said that we'll get the grommets um see if the grommets help at all see if that slows down her ear infections that kind of thing and then redo a hearing test in a year when she'll be four and she'll be able to do like the more comprehensive hearing test to actually give us any an idea of what is actually happening with her hearing um the grommets and fluid aside so that's what she's told us i don't know if the doctor would tell us anything different we have an ent referral already processed so we already are on the wait list for the public ent but i don't know if the doctor will be able to get us seen for grommets quicker because surely the ENT would do the same thing and say yes she needs grommets and then would refer us anyway so since we've done the hearing test privately I'm kind of curious to see what happens and if we can just fast track the grommets because my poor baby can't hear a thing her behavior does suffer because she can't hear anything she can't hear what I'm talking to her and then it's almost as if by the point I get angry and I raise my voice is she doesn't understand why 
I'm angry and she reacts angrily because she, like she hasn't heard me which is really frustrating and I'm trying really hard not to get frustrated but it she when, when I'm frustrated I just raise my voice she thinks I'm angry at her because I'm talking loud so it's a whole thing um so obviously oh but what your head obviously I will update as we go see how that goes I'm trying to Mommy, I'm going to trying to book in for the doctors next week so we'll see how that goes but yes now we're just at home we've obviously picked up Junie I'm going to do a bit of around the house and then unpack all the stuff from the car because it's unbelievable how much crap is in my car after only cleaning it out like two weeks ago so I did bring everything out of my car before when the kids were still sleeping so I have to unpack that and that's pretty much the plans for today it's just an unhealthy kind of day isn't it girls Mimi get them lollipops. This is all the stuff that came in in my car. How? I had, well this is in the bags in the car, but a pile of washing, three pairs of shoes, and I know for a fact there's a pair of boots in there still, one wet nappy, three packets of wipes, clean laundry that Junie didn't use in the sleepover, khaki, wallet, hair tie, nappy, four water bottles and a popper, a toy, a McDonald's toy, two jackets of mine, and a lunchbox. How I only just cleaned it. I just... I don't understand. Okay, girls are doing some Play-Doh. I'm gonna tackle the kitchen. And I stole Alaska's lollipop because you don't want it anymore, so it's nice. So I'm gonna do dishes and watch some YouTube because that's usually if I try and do, I like to like have a little me time while I do a chore. So as long as I stay entertained, which, you know, sometimes only lasts five seconds, we'll see how it go. And by some miracle, the kids actually let me clean the kitchen, so winning. So just quickly, hey girl. So I'm showing the girls these pictures that I said, Junie, look, it's mummy and it's Auntie Frances. And Laska, what did you say? I said that's Junie. You think that's Junie? What do you guys think? Do you think that looks like Junie? Junie, where are you? There's Junie, and there's me. Juniper! I don't know. That's me on my third birthday. What do you think, Alaska? Do I look like you? Yeah. That's me at age three. Look at me for a sec. What do you guys think? And then interestingly enough, look at that. Still kept it after all this time, only 25 years later. Alaska has been helping me make kitties, haven't you? So Alaska stirred up all the eggs and she even cracked all the eggs without getting any shell in. And then I've just got spinach, bacon and onion. Nothing crazy special, I'll put cheese in too. Oh, actually wait, let's put some cheese in here and you can stir it in, okay? My phone is actually dead, so I'm going to end it here. Thanks for hanging out with us today, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.